Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, engaging with international leaders on fighting climate change, on solving global crises, on standing up unequivocally for Ukraine. Colleagues, colleagues, just as I said before, as just as I said earlier, I would ask all members to please not take the floor unless they're recognized by the speaker so that we can hear the questions and we can hear the answers. The Right Honourable Prime Minister from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, don't worry, on this side of the House, we're used to casual homophobic comments from the other side of the House. Uh, Mr. Speaker, what is it about, about the... Uh, Colleagues, I heard comments uh, that I, because it was not on microphone, I chose not to get up. I would ask, nonetheless, that the, uh, we all treat each other with the presumption of honour and respect. And I'll ask the Prime Minister to please withdraw that comment and to start, uh, to start his comment again. Under the up colleagues, colleagues, colleagues. I heard a comment, as I said, which I could not, I do not, could not stand up because I did not know who said it. But we should be. But colleagues, I don't appreciate when we would tar the entire uh, 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 members with that concern. And I'm going to ask the honourable member, please, to withdraw that comment, start his question again, and let us presume the better natures of all members of Parliament here. The Right Honourable Prime Minister from the top. Mr. Speaker, standing up to bullies requires us to call them out on their crap sometimes, and that's what I will do. I'll invite the Prime Minister once again uh, to rise on his feet. And thank you. Mr. Speaker, I will happily withdraw my comment if the member who suggested that I was sharing a bathtub with Tom Clark stands.
stands up, takes responsibility for his... As I indicated to all colleagues here, I was not able to hear or track the source of that statement. And I'm just asking the Prime Minister to be the, the better person and to please just withdraw the comment and start his question again. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I withdraw uh, the comment about um, uh, defecating. Um, uh, I certainly, uh, using the word crap, I, refer, I shouldn't use that, I know crap is unparliamentary, but I will also, Mr. Speaker, when someone says something that is clearly homophobic, not them, I'm not accusing them of homophobia, I'm saying they made a homophobic... <laughs> I appreciate the Prime Minister withdrawing his comment, and the Chair accepts him withdrawing that comment. But as the Speaker had indicated, sometimes, sometimes in this chair, and for those who have occupied this chair or who will occupy this chair will understand, it is a very difficult decision day to day. I heard a comment, I did not know who said it, and the Speaker chose for the reputation of this House for us to move on from that comment. I ask, the, I ask the Prime Minister to withdraw the comment. I appreciate you withdrawing the comment. The Prime Minister, please respond to the question that was asked by the... Mr. Speaker, I know the very idea of standing up for Canada's rights and values on the world stage makes the leader of the opposition's skin crawl. What is it exactly? Is it standing up to fight climate change? Is it standing up uh, for women's rights? Is it standing up for democracy rights and freedom of the press? Whatever it is, he sure doesn't like it when Canada stands proudly on the world stage because he wants everyone to think that Canada is broken. Well, Canada's not broken. Canada's the best country in the world. We're going to make it even better. 